Hello everyone, I would like to talk to you about chapter 7 of my book, uh, The Long Road to Colorville. Uh, chapter 7 is about um, visa problems. Um, many countries now um, have visa on arrival, of you, or you can even apply for visa online, uh, or you might not even need a visa at all. But there's still some countries where you do need to go to a, a consulate or embassy and um, hope that they will eventually give you a visa and your passport. Um, chapter 7 is about the most um, extreme experience I had, which was going into Equatorial Guinea. Uh, it's, it's quite infamous for, for the trouble that most foreigners have, uh, unless you're lucky to be one of the passport holders where you do not need a visa. And uh, in this case, the whole chapter is about all the trouble I had getting the visa and also getting into the country. I'll read you the, uh, the opening lines. The title of the chapter is Spanish Angels. Now that I'm walking behind her, I can take a closer look at the woman. Her legs seem even longer than they really are because of the black miniskirt that she's wearing and the stilettos pushing her heels upward. Her body is undeniably graceful, caramel colored and slim built, long black hair that almost touches her bottom. The exotic attraction of a woman of mixed descent. I follow her across a park called of the CKDO, Libreville's biggest shopping mall. Her hips make a continuous circular movement. Sometimes she stops and turns her head towards me. Her black eyes urge me to follow and she makes a small gesture with her fingers whenever she thinks I'm hesitating. She directs me to a black car with tinted windows. She unlocks the doors, chases a white poodle from her seat and gets behind the wheel. I take the passenger seat. After we close the doors, she turns to me and bends over, making her breasts fall halfway out of her black blouse. Despite the air conditioning blowing icy coolness through her car at full blast, I feel myself getting increasingly hot.